Um, I'm Helen Winston. I'm a senior at Millard South High School. I'm Courtney Bierman, and I am also a senior at Millard South High School. I'm London Adams, and I'm a junior at Millard South. I'm S. Nichols, and I'm a senior at Millard South. <laughs> this is the only good thing about high school. You have been my center for as long as I can remember. We have been best friends for 13 years. 11. No, shut up. We met in kindergarten. But didn't become friends until the dragon phase in second grade. Oh, oh God. God. Guys, I need to tell you a story. <gasps> Is this about Lady Gaga's Oscar performance? Not this, this again. again. But you were born this way. We, we know. know. Anyways, one time I shaved my grandmother's eyebrow off and it never grew back. What? How have you not heard this story? The point is, I was six, she was stupid. Speaking of stupid, Deb Fisher and Ben Sass still can't wrap their minds around the fact that climate change is caused by human beings. What about the two men in his shirts I saw at school last week? The cool story, babe, now go make me a sandwich shirts are back too. Oh, I love you guys. Your pants are as bold as every role Meryl Streep has ever played. Your knowledge of film is like Albert Einstein and Roger Ebert had a baby. I will cradle that baby and we will raise it together. <laughs> You sling stones at the patriarchy the way Monet Davis slings sliders at stereotypes. Your wisdom is beyond your years. I want to put it in a case and display it like the Hope Diamond, mm. then take it out of that case and use its power to reclaim every conflict diamond ever sold. You, you take heartbreak like lonely stardust and isolate rock and swirl them into whole galaxies. Your eyes are like the lens of the Hubble telescope showing me this world the way it shows us the universe. Your sass is the gravity that pulls me back to Earth. Whenever we talk, I can feel you believing in me just how I want to be. Your affection is magnetic, holding our metallic fragments in place when we doubt their arrangement. You are the ideal embodiment of sunshine. If we are a solar system, you are the life-giving star. The forces that brought us together are as good and true as Courtney's puppy chow. It was sophomore year when I moved here and the loneliness pressed in. Now you're the first person I call when it presses tighter. That fall, it was raining. We got pizza and ate it in my car. We, we were starving. starving. And in the fog, I drew pictures I wouldn't want my mother to see. <laughs> Freshman year, we found each other through young adult fiction and mother monster. We found each other. And it was the first environmental club meeting of the year. I saw you lingering in the doorway and flagged you down. We, we talked, talked through the whole thing. thing. Through GSA. Through RDFB. Through lit class. class. We, we talked, talked through slam. slam. In those moments with each other, we grew like those time-lapse videos of plants emerging. emerging from comforting soil, quivering, quivering stems unfurling towards an attainable sky. I don't have to be embarrassed. I don't need to apologize. I am allowed to be in pain. I am not worthless. We, we are, are not worthless. worthless. Before I met them, I didn't realize that friends were supposed to be nice to you. I have never been so in love with a group of people. I have found the friends I've been searching for my entire life. We found each other. How are we going to let go? We, we are, are never, never going, going to let go. go.